Alfa Romeo is getting back into the exotic sports car game with the extremely limited production 33 Stradale. Famed coach builder Carrizaria Touring Superleggera will build the supercar. Power comes courtesy of a twin turbo V6 that Alfa claims makes more than 620 horsepower or a battery electric setup that ought to push out north of 750 horses. Both powertrains will push the 33 Stradale to 60 mph in less than 3.0 seconds, according to the brand. Not only does its performance chops sound enticing, the 33 Stradale's styling is too. It sports a retro-futuristic design that blends elements of Alpha's original 33 Stradale from the late 1960s with modern styling cues. Although the 33 Stradale is an all-new model for Alfa Romeo, its name comes from the company's past. The original 33 Stradale from the 1960s was also a limited production sports car, but only 18 left the factory. The new one will be nearly as rare, with only 33 examples earmarked for global production. All 33 are already spoken. The price of the 2025 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale is expected to start around $1.000. If you are one of the lucky individuals who dropped major coin to have one of these beauties, you'll have the choice between the twin turbo V6 or the 750 horsepower electric powertrain. We know which one we'd choose, but we'll leave the final decision up to you. The 33 Stradale shares many of its mechanical bits with the Maserati MC20 sports car. Like the mid-engine Maserati, the gas-powered 33 Stradale relies on a twin turbo 3.0 liter V6 for motivation. Alpha claims output of more than 620 horses. An 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission is standard here, as is rear-wheel drive. If you'd prefer, Alfa Romeo will sell you an electric variant with more than 750 horsepower and a battery pack large enough to afford around 240 miles worth of driving per charge. Either way, the 33 Stradale is quick enough to hit 60 miles per hour in less than 3.0 seconds, according to Alpha. We believe it. Top speed is a claimed 207 mph. It's unlikely that we'll get a chance to strap our test gear onto one of these bad boys given the limited production numbers and surely seven-figure price tag, but on the off chance we do, we'll update this story with test results and driving impressions. We don't have a lot of details about the 33 Stradale's interior, but from what we can see in photos, it looks like a stylish and nicely trimmed cockpit with minimal modern tech cluttering up the design. Handsome metal controls on the center console engage items such as the front axle lift system. There are also physical switches for the launch control system and drive mode selector. A three-spoke steering wheel and large gauge pod face the driver. Molto bene. Infotainment? What infotainment? At first glance, it looks like the 33 Stradale offers no such thing. The car's designers have cleverly integrated a touchscreen system that appears to pop out of the dashboard when needed but hides out of sight when you want a cleaner look.